are you? The hell do you think you're doing, barging in uninvited? Huh? What are you doing here? This is Izawa Kada. He's from Tosa, like me. He's going after a bad guy and asked for my help. Right. I think I see what's going on here. Ryoma, you sure we can really trust them? Of course. They've been by my side ever since we arrived in Yokohama. I guarantee they're a good person and a damn good fighter to boot. Uh, right. Your word is good enough for me. Let's get straight to it then. I was in Kanai when I happened to hear one of those reprobates was in town. He's staying in Hologaya and is planning to sneak into the Pleasure District. Let's look for him on the road. He won't have many guards with him, so we'll be able to take him out. Easy. No, he's a foreigner-loving sycophant. He must be excised, no matter what. We'll leave when the time is right. Slipping into the night is our best bet. Thanks. Just to make sure you don't sleep up. We go on foot. They'll know we're coming if we died. He's also like me, a fellow country samurai from Tosa. He's good in a fight and as honest as they come. It was Izo himself who thought up this plan. Said that if we're going to change Japan, we have to do what little things we can. Samurai like Izo and I are descended from the retainers of the old lords of Tosa. When the Yamauchi family took over, well, They've never thought much of us. Even in our hometowns, we can only aspire to petty positions. We can forget about chasing any dreams worth a damn. And Ryoma's family isn't even poor, like mine. I hope you see, if we want to bring about a change in the world, it has to be done this way. We're here. All right. <gasps> we'll lie and wait for a man in this area. How about up there? That him? Our oh, man's here. Just like he's old, thought. Please stop! I'm just trying to forge good relations with the foreigners to help the negotiations. Shut up. Rotten Shogunate dog. Well, at least he got to fight like a samurai before he died. Hmm. Right. Countless people are suffering because of him. Is that not the reason enough? Well, for a corrupt official, he seemed like he had good intentions. We've been here too long already. Let's go before anyone comes.
Hey. Ah, I had a feeling you would come. Let me show you the ropes. It's safer that way. Wander in alone, and you're sure to be ripped off. I've got a feeling I'm going to win big. As long as you let me borrow some of your good luck, that is. In go the dice! Folks, come, place your bets. Odd or even, you finished? Then betting is closed. The numbers are... Three and one, even. Mm, guessed wrong. Next game! Down goes the cup. Folks, come, place your bets. You finished? Then betting is closed. The numbers are... Five and one, even. And I felt so sure. Next game. In go the dice! Folks, come, place your bets. You finished? Then betting is closed. The numbers are... Five and four, odd! And I felt so sure. Next game! Well, I had quite a hot hand. How did you fare? Ah, fair enough. It's about that time. Stay too long, and you never know what you'll get mixed up in. Hey, you! Looks like you're on a roll. Want to share some of your good hey, fortune? Hey, hey, hey. Lucky day. They didn't know what hit them. So, what do you make of the place? There's never any shortage of gamblers to take money from. Come whenever you feel like letting your hair down. See you around.
And you call yourself a master? This is why we have foreigners walking around like they own the place. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Very well. Allow me to demonstrate the benefits of training in Edo. Go on, take up a sword. I will be your opponent. Ready yourself. Thank you very much. Truly, you are incredibly skilled. Well, yes. He started coming here recently. But to be honest, his skills far surpass any training we can give him. He's quite a handful. If ever you wish to train, feel free to come again. You are clearly gifted. Sorry to cut to the chase, but this is important. I received an anonymous letter the other day, challenging me to a duel. In times like these, I doubt it'll be a fair fight. But if it's a trap, it's not a very good one, is it? Anyway, I need to know who I'm dealing with. Takasugi was going to help me, but the Shogunate is watching us. The Choshu can't afford to be associated with any funny business. Which brings me to my request. Will you come with me? It's a lot to ask, I know, but please, I could really use your help. Come to think of it, you probably haven't seen it at all. I wasn't exactly in peak fighting condition when we first sparred. Despite appearances, I'm not too bad with a sword, you know? I don't intend to be outshined by you. The letter specifies a time and place. We'll leave when it's time. 
So, are you with me? Good. Thank you. As always. Right. Let's go. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you to come. After all, it has nothing to do with the samurai you're chasing. But I'm sure you have your own reasons. Over here! Get him! Careful! That fellow there looks the part. Are you ready? So you can. No need for preamps. Let us fight. Well fought, though I expected nothing less from one so brazen as to rebel against the Shogunate. This won't be the last time we meet, I am sure. By the sound of it, you've come here just to take the measure of me. Well, what would you do with him? I see. I happen to agree with you. You're soft, Katsura. Just like they say. All eyes are on the Choshu now. And I don't just speak of the Shogunate. If we can end this peacefully, then we must. But the way he wielded his sword... Could he be from Sansama? And with that level of skill, why he must be... No. I shouldn't make assumptions. Well, with you as our ally, I know we can handle anything. Though I should admit, for a moment there, I wondered if you'd betray me. <laughs> then I'm glad to hear it. I suppose I should make this the last time I ever doubt you again. Thank you.
with this discovery, you will have access to coal in Japan. You shall never need to worry about fuel again. You have not disappointed me. Please continue to look into this matter. Well, speak of the devil. My friend, perhaps you would like your reward now. Take a gander inside. There, see? I told you I was no liar. Commodore, this is my, excuse me, our friend I was telling you about. It's thanks to them we were able to secure the coal. Mark my words, your fame is about to far exceed your brother's. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to. Till next time. I heard you helped Samuel out. Yes, my brother too commanded a ship, fighting off the British. But sickness claimed him young. But I wouldn't give to see him again. Never mind that. I remember your face, you know. <laughs> no need for alarm. Your partner told me all about you. You're somewhat surprised, I'll wager. But it's true. I rescued your partner. And fear not. What is past is past. I took them with me to the States. And they're back here in Japan now. But that's all I know. Well, if you wish to balance your ledger, I've got some work you can take on. My men seem to have got into the habit of brawling with expulsionists in port. I want it stopped. If we fought them openly, our standing with your great nation would suffer. But there need to be consequences. What do you say? Would you kindly give a taste of justice to those expulsionist thugs for me? And listen, I know you people are warriors and all, but I don't want a bloodbath. That's in nobody's interest. Should there be casualties, I fear we shall become even more unwelcome. Do what you can, you hear? I saw it with my own eyes! You just see what you want to see. Oh, look at this one. You one of their pals? Never seen him. What do you want? Really? Go tell that to those fools! These barbarians have been terrorizing the local fishermen. And we won't stand for it. Not against our people. You filthy liar. We were just teaching them about the good old U.S. of A. You're just looking for excuses to pounce on us. The Commodore say that? I guess we got no choice. No more trouble. Scout's honor. Yeah, you got off easy, you sons of bitches. Bet you're all thanking your lucky stars right now. You've got some nerve. Time to put you out of your misery! Come on, let's go! Yeah. <laughs> 
Sorry for letting you fight all of them alone. <sighs> Things have finally cooled down. You know, all them foreigners did was ask about our whaling techniques. Even said they'd show us some of their grappling moves in return. They weren't causing any trouble to no one. That's like he says. We were just showing them some wrestling moves. Thanks for clearing that up. My pleasure. By the by, I don't know how much good it'll do to tell you, but... I heard a fellow talking with one of those expulsionist samurai. Something about persuading the court's big shots to stop trading with other countries. And if that happens, those foreigners will have to leave, won't they? It just doesn't sit right with me. Please, this way. It's always a pleasure to see you. Apparently, Mr. Harris has been in hiding since the incident. As to where he is, well... Why not try asking around at the Grand Villa? It's where Westerners mingle with the High and Mighty. And then there's... Well, let's just say there might be another way. I have some contacts in the Shogunate. If you are interested in doing a favor for them, I could make the necessary arrangements. I'm sure you recall what I told you when I asked you to take those photographs. I hear all sorts of things, things the Shogunate likes to know. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? Well, either way, I really do have something to ask you. I would like you to obtain a certain letter held by the samurai of Mito. To do so, you will have to infiltrate their base. Once you have secured the letter, Deliver it directly to me. Directly. Understood. If the samurai give you trouble, well, I trust you will know what to do. So, do we have a deal? Ah, uh, dependable as always. Well then, head to the Hodogaya post. One of our allies will be expecting you. That was quite a night, wasn't it? Harris is in hiding somewhere. Either way, now that the treaty has been signed, killing him won't make any difference. Harris was never your main concern, though, correct? Your sights were set on the samurai from the black ships. Learning Harris's whereabouts will help you find this samurai of yours, I suppose. Then, I recommend you pay a visit to the Grand Villa. 
That's where the powers that be rub shoulders with the foreigners. One particular shogunate official, Yukichi Fukuzawa, has been in and out a lot of late. Katsura, and you, together, I see. Hello, Shinsaku. Nice to see you here finally. Let's just get right to it, shall we? I can tell you we've located Master Shoin. The Red Demon got him. He's been imprisoned. If we want to save him, we have no choice but to act. And as luck would have it, we've heard some good news. It seems that the Mito clan has a letter, the contents of which would force the Red Demon to stand down. And if we get our hands on this letter, we could potentially get Master Shoin out of prison. But after the Harris incident, the authorities have their eyes on us, and we must use extreme care not to alert them to the letter's existence. That's where you come in. I want you to get that letter from the Mito clan and bring it to me. Can I count on you? Excellent. I thank you. I know this is a lot to ask, but try to avoid any casualties, if at all possible. After all, they are not our enemy. We will have a contact stationed at Hodogaya. Rendezvous with them when you are ready. So, you're the one they've got working for them. I've heard about you. You're a real charmer. Well, whatever. As long as I get paid, I don't care who you are. So, I just saw a group of samurai who looked a little on edge going to that inn. I'll bet they're the ones you are after. Most likely, they'll be taking turns to stand guard till morning. I recommend you strike at dawn. Once you have the letter, we're done here. I'll be waiting. I'm ready for action!
I will cut you to shreds! The red demon sent you. Admit it. My spear. If 
I must die. I'm going to take you with me. The Imperial transcript. Please, someone. With this, you can stop the red demon. You have done well. Now, I'll take that letter. I know about you. How you're working for both Taka and Katsura. Listen, I'll see who'll pay the highest price, then split the proceeds. And if you don't cooperate, I'll reveal everything. Neither of them will ever trust you again, will they? Now, come on! Give me the letter! Stubborn, aren't you? Bow, well, whatever. But just this once, you understand? Anything for an easy life. Nice of you to drop by. Please, this way. Oh, back so soon, are you? You certainly live up to my expectations. Do you have the letter? Yes, that is the very one. You have my gratitude. Did you run into any trouble? I'd expect nothing less from you. My benefactor will be pleased. Thank you. Chief Minister Yi removed all trace of the Imperial Edict to expel the foreigners. 
So began his ruthless campaign to suppress the anti-shogunate forces. Have I mentioned how glad I am that you're here? Truth be told, there's a personal matter I wish to discuss. Whenever I get close to a certain row of abandoned houses, I feel like I'm being watched. When I turn around, no one's there. But I just know somebody's watching from some dark and lonely corner. Would you be so kind as to investigate and find out who's watching me? Thank you. What a relief. But do be careful while you're out there. Wuggering about without a care. How oh, quickly you've forgotten about Kurosu. Dressed like a ninja, he appeared out of nowhere with a message. He said, We have Taka at Benden Shrine. If you want her back, the traitor must come alone. And I heard from some others in the Pleasure District that Taka had asked your guidance on a matter. Please, if you know anything about this, you must save Taka, please! Waiting for this moment, traitor. You'll pay for You'll breaking pay the code. Breaking the code.
I'm glad to see your face, even if you do look rather wretched. <laughs> well, thank you for your honesty. As I suspected then, it was your former kin who kidnapped me. Well... I suppose I could, only if you agree to see me again. Don't tell me you thought I'd be cross. On the contrary, I'm rather glad you saved me. See? Do I look angry? Do you need a closer look? <laughs> I'm only teasing. I really am grateful, though. Seeing you show up to rescue me, I thought I was dreaming. But... Of course you'd come. How could you not? We both have certain people we could not ignore if we tried. Ah, forgive me. I seem to be rambling. Kichi must be worried. I should go see her at once. Say... It would take no time at all on that dashing steed of yours. Why don't I hop on behind you and hold you tight? Well, aren't you kind? Though you might have agreed to that a little too readily. <laughs> Really, though, I'm truly grateful that you came to my rescue. Thank you. And now that I've learned about you, I feel obligated to share something of myself. Such a pleasant breeze. Being here with you, I somehow feel as if I can let my guard down. How sad we're nearly there. Dare I hope I'm not alone in that feeling. If only we could just keep going. You and I. Go somewhere far, oh, it's far you. away. But, alas. Hi. I'm perfectly fine, Kichi. I'm sorry to have worried you. And thank you. Thank you for saving Taka. 
<laughs> I knew it. I knew I could count on you to help. Oh, I should mention, Taka. The guest you are expecting has arrived. Ah, I see. Very well. Thank you. Now, let me introduce you. Since you so boldly came to my rescue, I feel I should return the favor by revealing a secret of my own. Oh, don't say that. Please. I would not share this with just anyone. I'll be waiting in my room. Be sure to come by later. There's more to you than meets the eye. As sharp as ever, I see. The truth is, in order to assist Lord E in his affairs, I've been keeping an eye on the expulsionists who frequent the Pleasure District. I wanted you to know, but you must promise not to breathe a word of this to another soul. Lord E is a long-time acquaintance of mine. I wish to be of service to him in whatever small way I can. Hmm. Any complaints? And before you insinuate anything, Taka does this for me willingly. Remind me, how long have you known Taka? I'd wager I'm a better judge of her intentions than the likes of you. That's enough talk about me, I should think. It's not every day you get an audience with the Chief Minister. Isn't there something you'd like to ask him? I do. What my country requires of me. A sentiment alien to you, I'm sure. <laughs> Expulsionist fools. They think my death will prevent the opening of the country. Idiocy. I have my mission. And it leaves no time to entertain their stupidity. Ah, yes. I've heard stories. Stories about them collaborating with the foreigners. I'll keep my ears open, but I am a busy man and can offer no promises. I think we're done here. Try not to get in our way. It seems you took care of that trouble between my men and the expulsionists. You did well to bring them to heal without anyone getting killed. Well, either way, that's one less worry for now. Hmm. Your word is proof enough for me. This is the evidence I've been waiting for. 
That very official will be at the British Trading House, where I'm planning to pay a call and present him with a gift. I want you to carry the gift and take the opportunity to sniff around. And if they're really plotting something, kill them. Am I clear? If you've got something to say, now's the time. Say there's another way, and you don't have to kill anyone. That work for you? Now, if you're clear on the particulars, you'd best get started. Very well. I am confident your efforts won't be for nothing. The gift I'm talking about needs to be picked up from English House Number One. Once you've got it, take it to the British Trading House. Don't let me down. Finally, I can breathe again. Whew. That was a little scary. Thanks for chasing those guys off. They think every Westerner's an enemy. Tell me, are they all such good-for-nothings? Oh, right, then I'll get to business. Kentucky bourbon, the finest you can find. It's in the room back there. Feel free to go on and take it. You, uh, you better drink that stuff neat, though, okay? Oops! 
Seems things have calmed down somewhat. When well, you made it at last, trouble, I suppose. Shh. Things have changed somewhat. It seems the British have already taken care of him. All it took was a certain golden cake and some scotch. Well, anyway, it saved us the trouble of having to do something ourselves. Forgive the delay, but allow me to present you with some of our nation's finest bourbon whiskey. I hope you enjoy it. So, this is America's famous bourbon. This is welcome indeed. Relations between our great nations will remain amiable as long as I have anything to do with it. It seems negotiations will continue. I owe you my thanks. That's enough. You may consider your ledger balanced. That's right. You're off the hook. I figure if you have to have people killed to succeed, you lost your way. My brother would have agreed. In fact, I've actually prepared something special by way of thanks. Drop by the Grand Villa in Yokohama, won't you? See you around, Blade of the Veiled Edge. There you are. I wanted you to have this. You worked hard after all. I think we should stay in touch in the future. You amenable to such an idea? Friends, huh? I guess we are. We shared a cause, and now I've got my first Japanese friend. See you around. Let me die in spring, under the blossoming trees. Mm -hmm. And who might you be? Well, if you insist. My name is Yukichi Fukuzawa. I am a samurai from Nakatsu. I am working for the shogunate while I complete my studies. And this here is Ernest Sato. He's a British interpreter. Pleased to meet you. Fukuzawa-san was just teaching me more of his marvelous language. Oh, I fear I have very little left to teach you. It is I whose language skills are lacking. I must learn English. Tell me, what brings you here? The American Consul General, Harris? Well, 
Hold on one minute. What do you want with him? His life was threatened just the other day, you know. I'm certainly not going to lead a perfect stranger directly to his door. Why, just look at you. You might very well be an assassin. Hmm. I won't pretend to understand your motivations. Fukuzawa-san, you were keen to meet with the Consul, are you not? Perhaps this individual could come with. Even if they are an assassin, they couldn't do much if you were there. You are a master martial swordsman, after all. Very well. I'm not convinced, but I will do as you wish. The Consul is in a temple near the Kanagawa post. Fukuzawa-san will show you precisely where. Hold on! Do you not intend to accompany us? Attacks on foreigners in that particular area are on the rise. I will remain here. You should have no trouble, however. Hmm. Well, I suppose you're right. I'll go ahead and see how things are looking. Meet me at the Kanagawa post. Over here! We must be careful. This place is more dangerous than I thought. I was informed that the consul was in Hongakuji Temple, but as far as I can tell, it is now in the hands of expulsionist forces. I found no trace of Harris himself. Where could he be? When the Americans first arrived, they transformed the temple into their first consulate. And so began the whispers that the cholera epidemic could be traced back to this town. Needless to say, these are entirely groundless rumors. Agreed. It would be a tragedy if anything were to happen to him. Let's get moving. Over here. The temple of Hongakuji was built approximately 600 years ago. However, the Americans have essentially repurposed it ever since we opened our doors to them. Whether it's outbreaks of cholera or more attacks by those who wish to drive out the foreigners. Truly. corpse appears to have been a local resident. Can the anti-foreign forces really be targeting their own countrymen? It is one thing to hate the West, but this is wanton violence. Why are those wretches so utterly repulsed by the unfamiliar? I'm afraid I must conclude that reason and understanding are far more present in Western society than in our own homeland. Now, if the consuls truly managed to flee the temple, he's probably still somewhere in this vicinity, don't you think? Doubtless, he is being pursued by expulsionist samurai, though killing him would serve little purpose at this stage. Either way, we must find where the consul is hiding. Very good. Now, I have no doubt that his pursuers will be in an agitated state. Let's have a good nose around and see if we can't find any clues as to Consul Harris's location.
There are some dubious types here, but no sign of Consul Harris. Oh, my God. 
We must not give up. as a shadow. Don't rush. Take your time. I wonder how you use it. I wonder how you use it. Is that all? I wonder how you use it. I wonder how you use it. I wonder how you use it. <laughs> sure thing. Thanks for your patronage.
How did you get in here? You will not touch the console. This will be... Well, first we must put his sword away. But I will not allow you to lay a finger on him. Wait a second. You're Jules Brunet, the French officer. It's me, Yukichi Fukuzawa. Huh? I remember. We met at the Grand Villa. But what are you doing here? Mr. Sato asked me to come here to speak to the consul. Is he to be found here? Fear not. Consul, they are friends. I thank you, good sir. <laughs> Where would I be without the French? What in the world? How are you still alive? I've had just about enough of your harassment. Why would I believe that? Look. I don't know who hired you, but I guarantee I can pay double. Oh, you mean that other bodyguard that couldn't kill you? <sighs> I suppose I did see the two of you having a chat. How about this? You take care of some scoundrels for me. And I'll tell you what I know about them. We were attacked by a band of thugs and forced to flee the temple. Until they are dealt with, we are stuck here. There is no sense in fighting every last one of them. I propose that I join you and Fukuzawa and that we hunt down their leader. With him out of the picture, his underlings will melt away. They are little more than a rabble. And if nothing happens to me, I'll tell you everything I know about the samurai from the consulate. So, have we a deal? Great. Now, to avoid attracting attention, let's leave one at a time. We'll regroup on the hill overlooking the temple.
I just saw a most unsettling looking man entering the main hall. I am certain he is their leader. Well, are you all set to enter the temple? Good. Then we shall proceed under cover of darkness. They may be a disorderly lot. But there is strength in numbers. Stay sharp. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't rush. Take your time. Thanks for your patronage. Don't rush. Take your time. Thanks for your patronage. What are you doing here? Get in my way, and I'll cut you down. After me! What's this? Then you're reduced to being a foreigner's lapdog. Working with the outsiders. What do you know? I don't need lectures from you. Haven't you heard? The first American consulate was in this village, along with the outbreak of cholera. 
We should never have had dealings with foreigners. It endangers us all. This is a belief I am willing to fight for. The mob has obeyed their leader's order and dispersed. Our plan worked. Very well then. About my curious bodyguard. They were captured in Yokohama by Commodore Perry some years ago. They were taken back to the United States and held in custody. We were deeply relieved when we realized they wanted to cooperate. How the hell should I know? I just hired them to protect me. However, I did hear a great deal about Japan on our voyage over. Working for me was their idea. I'm not such an imbecile to try to strong-arm them. And thanks to that, we were able to conclude the Commerce Treaty. But then they up and vanished. Well, that sums up what I know. Any questions? Ah, that mechanical arm was made in the United States. It can fire shells and steel wire. Quite the device, I must say. Well, it was the very day after we signed the treaty. Didn't even bother to collect their pay. Come to think of it, I heard the British might have also requested their services. Now, that will be all for the moment. Should you need to know any more, save it for another day. Fukuzawa, I am going to escort the Consul General to a safe location. Once things settle down, we'll make contact via the Grand Villa. I think we made a good connection there. I look forward to learning more about the United States. I plan to continue my education there one day. Showing Yoshida could not realize his dream, but I fully intend to make it happen. I most certainly do, but it's just such a shame. Showing Yoshida is wanted for conspiracy against the Shogun. But by now I imagine he has already been apprehended. Now I shall take my leave. Until next time. So, how do you plead? Have I not made myself clear? The Shogunate serves a purpose no longer. That is why I urge our people to rise decisively as one. It is they who must build this nation anew. What can the people possibly do? They must stand behind the Shogunate. Or we all fall to the foreigners. You wish to keep our country safe? Then the people must fall in line. So this is the nation you want. A land of purges and repression. Your insolence and insubordination are unforgivable. You must be punished by execution. Take him away! 
Ah. There's something I want to discuss. Remember when I told you I wish to study in America? Well, I've looked into it but have heard little back. But then I realized that the black ships docked in Yokohama. They must be laden with the latest books and other marvels from the West. I've made up my mind. The answer is to sneak aboard and borrow the things I need to further my education. I've given that a lot of thought. I thought I'd ask the assistance of someone who once did the same. Huh? <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> very funny. Let me introduce you to him. This is Sawamura, a ninja of Iga. I've seen you before. The Veiled Edge assassin who fought Perry aboard the black ship. Thanks to the fuss you kicked up, I was able to finish my mission. Wait. You infiltrated the black ships as well? Well, <laughs> I'm more confident than ever now there's two of you. Mr. Fukuzawa translated the documents we stole from the ship. I owe him one. It will be easy to get aboard through the hold, just like the last time. I'll make my way to the deck and secure an escape route. Sawamura has made all the necessary preparations. We can go any time. So you will help us infiltrate the ship, won't you? I do have to make one important request. Remember, we're doing this for the sake of educating ourselves. I beg you, refrain from killing as best you can. Sawamura, over to you. Seems you're none the wiser. Let's keep moving. Never saw it coming. Oh, you're, you're pulling my leg. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> 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 Survive, we must adopt the Westerner's ways. Don't move! <sighs> oh. Silent. 
stands as a shadow. Quite a complex telescope, this. I must get Igashichi to examine it for me. Suffering. Please bring the woman to me. I started a mutiny with her. Said she'd fix me up. Couldn't say no. Tuberculosis. Looks like it's already spread from his lungs. The poisoner. She knows how to cure me. <coughs> the witch. Cure tuberculosis? Do they really know how to do that in America? He's gone. Let us leave him to rest in peace. the workings of a new type of steam engine. Can't wait to pour over this. I think this is enough of a haul. Let's go and find someone more. Let's go. Huh? Where's Salmura gone to?
Sorry I'm late. Things got a little dicey. But mission accomplished. My deepest thanks, both of you. You've given me exactly what I want. I particularly appreciate your restraint in subduing those in your way. Aside from that last unavoidable bit of conflict, of course. Nevertheless, there is one thing in particular on my mind. I haven't been able to stop thinking about what we saw. Exactly. They've got quite the bargaining chip against the East. And I don't think it beyond them to use it. Very perceptive. I'm no match for you. The sailor mentioned a poisoner who could cure him. Of course, he might well have been delirious in his final moments. But tuberculosis itself is not unlike a deadly poison. How could one use poison to cure it? There are ancient ninja arts that counter one poison's effects with another's. Perhaps tuberculosis can be suppressed the same way. Of course! The smallpox vaccine works the same way. My medical teacher developed it, you see. It uses a weakened version of the disease to protect against its full-blown form. Perhaps there's a similar treatment for tuberculosis. I wonder what other American medical advancements have we yet to learn. This only strengthens my resolve. I must go there no matter what. And I will return to Japan with a veritable treasure trove of knowledge. Even the cure for tuberculosis. I know it. Ah, oh, it's... You again. Tell me, why were you with the outsiders at Kanagawa Post? The one who showed up at the U.S. Consulate. Ah, oh, so that's why you are hand in glove with Harris. I accept that you have your own motivations. So I won't pry any further. But... I can't overlook the fact that you worked as an outsider's stooge. If you want our trust, you'll have to earn it. The official's just ahead. As you showed up, I'm guessing you'll help me to deliver justice. Right? Good. Then we depart at once. I'll fill you in on the way. Follow me. Our destination is the official's residence. He's a corrupt man who's grown fat by taking bribes from foreigners. He's especially close to the British and is constantly surrounded by a detail of their soldiers. The man's rotten to the core, and Japan will rot too if his kind are allowed to remain in power. I'll let you know when I see him.
That was barely a whimper. Excellent work. Excellent work. There. That's the one. In any event. How about you, ruffian? You will pay. Once they get this message, the other officials will think twice before taking any donations under the table. We've done a service to the people. Good work. You're prepared to risk life and limb for the sake of the Japanese people. Now that I've seen that, I can trust you. As of this moment, we are comrades in arms, in the truest sense. From now on, I'm willing to put my life on the line for you. I anticipate great things for us. Thank goodness you're here. There's awful news. The Red Demon sent his master showing to death.
Then this will be quick. This is Fumi, Master Shoin's younger sister. An official told her they're planning to execute her brother soon. Please, help me save my brother. If we don't, here. We cannot allow this to happen. We need to muster the troops and get Kasura to come up with some kind of plan. But first, we need to let Shinzaku and your husband know what's happening. They've been keeping their distance from Katsura, it seems. I'm talking about Genzoi. Fumi is married to him. The problem is finding Shinzaku. <sighs> Who knows where he's loitering? I'd say there's a good chance he's in Chinatown. I'll go and look for him there, if you wouldn't mind searching for my husband. I'm not sure it's safe for Fumi to go alone. Shinzaku's associating with some unsavory sorts, I hear. <laughs> go after her and help her find Shinzaku. Leave Kensui to me. I'm counting on you. Someone who sounded like Shinsako in the area. But then those thugs just surrounded me. Now, I think you're likely to find Shinsako up ahead. But I've heard he's been rather unruly of late. I thought me being there might make him less likely to act up. But I fear I will just be a burden to you. Will you go to Shinsaku in my stead? Thank you so much. Please be careful. I'll be waiting at the Sakura Inn. Let's begin. 
happy to help out.
Don't rush. Take your time. Is that all? I wonder how you use it. Thanks for your patronage. warmed up. Have you had enough fun? <laughs> well, I'm impressed. I guess you got more than just luck on your side. I've been putting together my militia. Isn't this the perfect place? The authorities won't suspect a thing. You came all this way to tell me that. And he's to be executed. Right? That's not news to me. But are you sure you want to share that news with your enemies? I mean, you are working for the Shogunate, aren't you? Am I? Well, perhaps. I'm not a mind reader. But what does that matter in the end? It would be a waste to kill you now. We are not done with each other, I'm afraid. So, Katsura and the others at the Sakura Inn, I'm sure. Come join us there. I'll buy you a drink. Ah, you're here. 
I know it's not the best time, but can we talk? Just the two of us. I think you've got something to say to me. Great, isn't it? I picked it up in Chinatown. It makes me feel like one of those heroes from the romance of the Three Kingdoms. Wouldn't last long trusting everyone so easily. But you are certainly a person of interest. I want to see what you do in the days to come. Intimidating Fumi was a mistake. I will apologize to her next time. And take responsibility for their poor judgment. They might be a private militia brought together by a common desire. But there's more than a few bad apples in the bunch. Really? Then, I suppose it's my turn to ask you the questions. But, maybe let's go somewhere else first. I know a great place in Chinatown. Why don't we get a drink there and have a chat? Alright, follow me. I will show you the way. Let's be off. Hey, what's the hold up? Oh. Hey, you ever been to a foreign country? I was in Shanghai once, but it looked more like England. Tight of it made my blood boil. That reminds me, I gave Sakamoto a pistol I got in Shanghai. I hope he's been putting it to good use. Fella, what's the matter? Mr. Takasugi, those underlings of the magistrate barged in again, claiming I haven't paid my tax. This new magistrate seems like a real piece of work. Some of the other merchants lost their honest business and turned to smuggling on behalf of government officials. Smuggling? It's repulsive that the officials charged to protect the country have turned down such a dark path. As I thought, we cannot go on simply obeying the shogunate. The people must embrace their power to express their will. That's why I created the Kiheitai militia. I mean, where do you think this country is headed?
A bold statement, considering the atrocity you've just witnessed. You're an interesting one, that's for sure. Still, I'm of the same mind. If we fight tooth and nail, I am certain a new dawn can rise on the nation. Well, I would say we should continue this over a drink. But I can't leave these things here as they are. The sake will taste better after we've taken care of those cricket pigs. Be an insult to paper tigers. How are we going to get in? Hey, that's your specialty, right? You did. Now that those corrupt officials are taken care of, can you return the money and the goods they stole to their proper owners? Shishe, Mr. Takasugi. You and your companions' deeds have opened my eyes. We must fight back for our communities ourselves. Which is why we would like to aid your Kihetai. We would like to possess the same power as you. Great. That's music to my ears. He has to us, both looked down upon by the powers that be. I just wanted to invite you for a drink, but still, you stuck around through all of that. I would have to make it up to you sometime. Oh, playing it cool, are we? Anyway, never a dull moment when you're around, my friend. Looks like we have a long road ahead of us.
So you managed to round up Shinsaku? <gasps> I knew you could do it! My husband arrived just a moment ago. I'm so relieved. Katsura should join us very soon. He's finding out all he can about my brother's situation. Once everyone's here, we'll come up with a plan to save Master Shoin. I'm sure you'll have some ideas. That's what I want to hear. Master Shoin is set to be executed soon. I've heard from several of my sources, and believe it to be true. I want everyone's ideas on what we should do. The prison walls are unshakable. But what of the people inside? What do you mean? What are you getting at? Some of the girls are persuadable. We can use the Kihetai to bring a few of them over to our side. Shinsaku! Our priority is saving Master Shoin's life. We simply don't have time for such games. Do you have any better ideas? Those pathetic officials are nothing to fear. I say we march in from the front. Genius plan, number one student. Will you two give it a rest? Roma, do you have any thoughts? Indeed I do. There's a watchtower right by the prison. We could just climb it, then go swoosh right in. Hmm. How does one swoosh, exactly? What? You don't know how to swoosh? You know, have a swoop, or take a glide. What do you think? Perhaps you can offer us an impartial opinion. I knew it. I knew you'd get it. <laughs> and don't worry. I'll leave the swooshing up to you. Very well. We will do as you suggest. All right then. Everyone, prepare yourselves. I know I sounded pretty confident back there, but... Can you really do it? Swoosh, right in. Is that all you have to say? <sighs> well, can't go back now, so I'll leave it to you. Right then. A great man finishes what he started. Uh, and all that. Now head to that watchtower. The watchtower ladder is broken. I need to fix it. But I'd appreciate a little help. I'm short of wood. Could you gather some for me?
You went and got it for me. <laughs> Thanks, this is just what I need. to interrupt. I was so worried about my brother. I had to come. I haven't seen anyone coming or going. That means he is still in there. I heard the plan was to swoosh right in, whatever that entails. Are you all set? That's great. I shall pray for your safe return. Have you spoken to my husband? Genzui is liable to rush in there by himself at the last moment. If we wait too long, the sentence will be carried out and all will be in vain. Please, do all you can to save my brother. All right, let's get swooshing. For a moment there, I thought I was a tangle. <laughs> I flew like a bird! <laughs> that was barely a winter. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> 
Barely a whimper. Shorin Yoshida? The new arrival? He was here, but they took him off somewhere. It seems the guards had it in for him. I just swiped that key. I could rip myself out. But the guards won't budge from where they're stationed. What's that? Oh, they're in a building on the other side of the grounds. Excellent work. Go, go, go! 
was smooth. Don't rush. Take your time. Is that all? Thanks for your patronage.
Who are you? You don't look like a god. Ah, if it isn't Ryoma. I expect you have risked your life to be here, but I am afraid you must leave. What's that? You mean Fumi's here? It matters not. I cannot leave this place. I have done nothing wrong, you see. Were I to escape, it would be an admission of my guilt. Please, Master Shoin. Japan is changing. But we need you to show us what new form it should take. Listen to me, Ryoma. It is you who will build this nation, who will define its form for future generations. Listen to your heart. Walk the righteous path. You are capable of greatness. I have every faith that you will succeed. The people must rise and demand revolution. How else can change endure? It is within any individual's power to envision our future and shape it. All they need do is discover their purpose, and my death just might help them decide. Do you see now? Death is my final task. But I have one request. Give this to Fumi. My vision for the fate of our nation. The future as I see it. May it be of service as you build a new Japan. Thank you. I am counting on you. If only we had met in a different place and time. So my brother refused to leave his cell. I had a feeling he might have decided to sacrifice himself. It is very like him. About me? Even when imprisoned, he worries for others. This is my brother's last will and testament. I must give it to Katsura without delay. He will broadcast these words far and wide. I have no doubt. Ah, yes. I brought a fresh kimono for my brother. Please take it. As a token of my gratitude. Right. Let's part ways for now. We'll hold off any guards who try to give chase. We'll regroup in the Sakura Inn. Look after Fumi, you hear? I must take my brother's letter to the Sakura Inn.
There's no escape. Prepare yourself. I must not let this let be stolen. What kept you? We've been waiting for ages. What? I thought she was with you. Don't tell me she's... Damn it! Curse those shogunate dogs! You were supposed to protect her! It seems a plan to split up and avoid attention has backfired. If they'd wanted to kill you, they would have. But here you are. Did they say anything? Meaning if you'd put up a fight, they would have killed Fumi. No wonder they call him the Blue Demon. Master Shoin is being transported to the execution grounds in Edo. Most likely Fumi will be in Edo too. We won't achieve anything standing around here. We must go to Edo without delay. What are you going to do? Honestly, I'd really like if you were to join us in Edo. 
What do you think? Good to hear. Let's do this. saw it too, right? He stayed true to himself. Right to the bitter end. He was ready for his fate, faced it head on. We could stand to be more like him. This is no time to sit around weaving. Katsura, Shinsaku, Genzoi. His actions have inspired them all. And many more besides. By dying, Master Shoin passed something onto us. What exactly that is, well, I can't say for sure. All I know is that I have to do all I can to forge a new Japan. Now, let's go and join Katsura and the others. Seems they're lying low in the remains of Sai Hoji Temple. We'll have to be careful. Edo is the Shogunate's stronghold. The Red Demon has eyes everywhere. So we can't move in plain sight. Katsura and the others will have a hard time searching for Fumi. There's little enough to go by without the added hindrance. With Master Shoin gone, this might spell the end for them. Truth be told, I was counting on Master Shoin to be here. I thought that with him, our country really stood a chance. But now I see that leaving my fate in someone else's hands is foolish. My future begins and ends with me. Your time has come. Rise as one. I will take Master Shoin's last words with me as long as I live.
terrible sight. So many struck down by cholera. It saddens me to see Edo this way. It's a mere shadow of the bright and bustling place I once knew. We can't leave things as they are. Something must be done. Saihoji Temple is a secret meeting place for Chosho retainers. A special signal is required to enter. I'll teach it to you. Watch. This way! Hold. Those entering the temple must perform the special signal. Remember what I just taught you. Give it a go. Come on. Very well. You may pass. Rains finally let up. They say no rain lasts forever, you know. I'm guessing by that look on your face that you haven't found Fumi yet. Pardon me. Hmm? <gasps> Taka. Oh. Fumi! <gasps> You're alive! Uh, yes. Taka, helped me escape. Now there's nothing to hold us back. But I'm not sure I understand. I'm sure there is much you wish to know. But please, save your questions. There is news of great import I must convey to you at once. An uprising by the Satsuma clan is imminent. Should you join forces with them and succeed, you will surely be able to clip the Shogunate's wings. Perhaps ending this purge you once and for all. Yes, this is all very odd. The clan's lord gave his own daughter to the shogun as a bride. Surely they reared great influence. This purge is one result of the loss of their influence. The Satsuma are now concerned that they, too, will be the target of oppression. Listen to me, Genzui. I want you to decide. As Master Shoin's favorite student, it is you who is heir to his vision. I vow to help you in any way that I can. Your time has come. Rise as one. Master, I will listen to my heart and walk the path we believed in. Let us join the Satsuma. To correct Japan's course, we must put our petty differences aside and embrace what we share. What say you? Do I have your support? Please come and see me later in Yoshiwara. I wish to speak to you alone.
The testament of the soul Master Shoin left us is back in our hands. You should give it a read. Everything we stand for began with Master Shoin. You might find reading his testament useful for reflecting on all that's happened. Eventually, I'll have a manuscript made so his words can reach even more people. The power of a message relies on it being conveyed, after all. Please, come again. Ah, so you have come. Now. It is time I told you the truth. Before we can go further, I'm afraid there is something I must yet ask of you. Would you hear me out? Thank you. You do me a great kindness. I'll return to my chambers for now. Please come back. I'll be waiting. I have noticed recently that a number of sick geisha seem to have disappeared. I decided to look into the matter and have just learned about a place where a certain geisha is being treated. I would be reassured if she were being seen by a physician, but I have yet to see any evidence of one. That's not all. Everyone seems to be turning a blind eye to what's happening. Something just doesn't feel right. Please, would you be so kind as to check on this geisha? As for me, I'll ask around to see if I can learn more. Oh, thank you. If you act like a regular patron, I'm sure you can approach the room without drawing suspicion. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. 
sick of this myself. <coughs> Who's there? How did you get in here? We are in the middle of treatment. Get out! Our geisha are our pride. But if they can't bring in the business, they're simply dead weight. Dead weight we don't have the capacity to support through recovery. And now you've witnessed this. I have no choice. Men, put this wretch out of their misery! Don't think you can leave alive. you help me? I'm too sick to warrant your aid. My body hurts all over. My once beautiful skin is... If I can't earn my keep, there is no place for me in Yoshiwara. My only choice is to disappear. What else can I do? Either way, it won't be long till I'm found and silenced. The one who sent you? <laughs> That's kind, but I won't hold my breath.
You saw the girl, I take it. Was she all right? I see. Then I must go see her as soon as I can. As for the results of my investigation, I have come to learn the full scope of the matter. The girls who disappeared were killed somewhere underground, and their bodies buried at Saihoji Temple. We must tell the girls that this is no longer happening. Perhaps that will bring their souls some semblance of peace. I can only hope that they will rest easier now. They're saying a shogunate official was killing off the sick, and that he combed the pleasure district looking for his next victims. The rumor makes sense. There is frustration with how the shogunate is handling the epidemic. It goes to show how unhappy the people really are. Indeed. I hope the day will come when those hiding in the shadows will be as free as those living in the light. I spoke to the head of the Yoshiwara about the man behind all this. But the Pleasure District does not have enough resources, so I would wager it is still business as usual for him. The culprit goes unpunished, while you and I remain bound by virtue. Such is the way of the world we live in. Yes, this is all one of my station can do. I suppose these women felt the same way I do. They too long to be free. When we first met, I thought your life seemed so... I'm fettered. But the truth is you, too, are bound by your past. We both go through life concealing the ties that bind us. We may be very different, yet in many ways we are alike. Remember when I asked you to take those photographs for me? It feels like we've grown so much closer since then. They say a camera's true purpose is to preserve one's memories. I never really thought of it that way back in the Pleasure District. Why don't we take another photograph right now? That way, we'll never forget this moment. Will you do this moment justice? I hope you will hold on to that photograph. That way, I can always be with you.
So, the issue at hand. I gather you are wondering why I betrayed Lord E. I must admit, he and I, we... He is a very important person to me. In fact, this hairpin is a gift from Lord E. But things are very different now. So much has changed, including my Lord and me. The man I once knew is now the Red Demon. And the truth is that the role he has taken on torments him. Witnessing the recent purge opened my eyes. I now know that he must be stopped. And who else can do it but me? It is as if all these years by his side have led to this moment. I let Mrs. Fumi escape, though it may yet cost me my life. That was the right thing to do. Yes, I am sure of it. But now, I am suddenly terrified. I can't shake the feeling that something horrible is about to happen. What do you think I should do? Perhaps you're right. I suppose there's nothing to do but trust them. I'm feeling much better now. I must apologize for letting my emotions get the better of me. Will you join the Satsuma uprising, I wonder? I know a back street out of sight of the Shogunate. I will show you. I only wish... There was more I could do for you. Let me know when you're ready to go. Shall we make our way to the Satsuma Villa in Edo? Indeed. Imagine how lovely that would be. Yes, together. So you decided to join us. The Blue Demon's forces are marching on Princess Atsuko. It seems there is dissent in the Shogun's ranks. If they take custody of the princess, the Satsuma clan will become hostages. You're the one who brought Fumi back. You have my gratitude. Now we no longer have our hands tied. Leave this to us. You should get somewhere safe. Please, take care of yourself. I'll be waiting. Now to support the Satsuma. Are you ready? Who are cut down? 
Fear not. I will stop him loyally. I'll be you once dead. Please. Tell my lord. Ever since the day we met in Hikon, I have been... Part of this band. Indeed. I'll do my best not to disappoint. Princess Atsuko, before the enemy does.
Where is she? Yeah! Huh! 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 Huh
The Shogun's men are heading for that guest house. That is where the princess must be. Come on. Be reckless. Patron. A trick. Damn you, princess. You are finished. So we meet again. But what can you do? Be reckless. 
won't be reckless. thought the stray cat would wander in. Still, you did well. You have my thanks. <laughs> Out of the way. My lady, we will soon have dealt with the vermin in the grounds. I thank you. It seems all is going according to plan. I'm afraid I must bring something to your attention. What did you say? live on. Together, we will continue his legacy. Thank you once again for your efforts. It pains me, but now we can do little more than wait. I will seclude myself in my inner chambers. You have no need to fear for me. Even the chief minister would not dare come for me there. With my stepfather now gone, the Satsuma clan will be shaken to its core. 
Its future depends on you and Saigo. But we lack experience, and our master is gone. You know Saiko better than anyone, do you not? Compensate for each other's weaknesses, and secure the clan's future. Yes, my lady. I thank you. Now, what did you say your name was? Then you're astray with the sense of humor, it seems. Well, Princess Sato, aren't they odd? <coughs> I look forward to speaking with you when things calm down. Until next time. Please forgive me, my lord. I did not foresee the stubbornness of the princess. You have been taking matters into your own hands, it seems. But at least the princess has been subdued for now. Fine work, but you are relieved of your duties for now. Go. Rest. Yes, sir. You've heard about Tucker's death, I trust. <laughs> I just... can't stop thinking about it. Ever since we met in Yokohama, she's done so much for us. And we had some fun in the Pleasure District, didn't we? But she was never just a regular geisha, was she? She took an extraordinary risk when she helped Fumi escape. She knew the likely consequences, but still she did the right thing. She may have looked like a flower, but she stung like a bee. If I'm going to do anything for Japan's future, I need to show the same commitment she did. Kenzo is already working on a new plan. But I need some time to get things straight in my head. Why don't you pay a visit to Taka's grave? It's right here, in Saihoji Temple. Let us pray for her. You may cast blame later. This is not the place. Taka, I am afraid I cannot stay long. 
I must fulfill my duty. Indeed I do. And that's not all. Under the Shogun, I will muster the power of the nobility and imperial court, strengthen our military, and negotiate a new treaty. A fairer one that shall protect our people and our wealth. Are you lonely, dearest Taka? Well, hold on. I won't be long. And when I join you, I shall give you the most exquisite hairpin you have ever seen. It seems Gensui's latest plan is coming together. We're just waiting for everyone to get here. Ever since Gensui read Master Shoin's last words, he's been all fired up about forging a new Japan. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's gearing up to attack the Red Demon's men head on. What do you think? Can you handle the fight? Good. Then let's do this, together! We've made arrangements to that end. That's true. Hmm. You always pop up at just the right moment, don't you? <sighs> Noma, look at this. Every last one of them is here to help us strike down the Red Demon. Hmm, truly an impressive sight. Firstly, I would like to thank you all for joining us. We all come from different domains, places with separate customs, different loyalties, in fact, some of our clans once opposed each other long ago. Yet we have cast aside our differences and come together. Truly a testament to Master Shoin. We must strike in the name of all who have been oppressed. Let us not forget the pain of Master Shoin and the countless others who have suffered. We will bring this darkness to an end and deliver divine retribution to the Red Demon! I am allowed as many guards as the Shogunate provides. Do you expect the Chief Minister to flout the rules?
we go. Yeah! <laughs> 
be reckless. the hand of a long veiled edge. I could not help if I pledged to protect. Let's put my hands full! The rest is up to you! March 1860, the Red Demon was assassinated outside the Sakurada Gate of Edo Castle. They were saying the trade talks are being suspended. And you mm. just believed them, did you? You try arguing them. I don't welcome the taste <laughs> of steel, personally. Mm -hmm. I... Wait, uh, who are you? Time to die! In the wake of this incident, Shogunate authority plummeted as the rebellious samurai grew emboldened. The influence of the United States, which Yi had done so much to promote, waned, leaving the door open for the British to take their place. After their triumph at the Sakurada Gate, Kusaka and his allies plot the next step in their quest to expel the foreigners. Killer instincts. Let those beasts be. 